Inside of Stad Saputo, Bill Riley and Brian Dunseth, a tough finish tonight for Real Salt Lake. They lose 3-2. We're joined now on the postgame show by Captain Kyle Beckerman. And Kyle, well, look for the world like that goal you got late might be the difference in this one tonight. Yeah, it would have been nice. Uh, Kyle, you knew coming in this is a team that's going to sit back and defend, look to hit on the counter. Were you surprised, though, by how north to south this game really was? Um, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're going into these places and we're trying to play. Um, we have, end up having to dictate the game at other people's stadium. Same thing happened in New England, um, where the other side teams just come in and sit at our place. Uh, but I, I'd rather be on this team and, and do what we're doing. And when that happens, sometimes the game gets up and down. And because uh, we're coming out, we're gonna if we lose, we're losing standing up, not on our knees. Kyle, what happened on the two goals in those last 10 minutes for Montreal? One looked like DeVaio may have been offside on the replay, but the second one looked like a breakdown on the set piece. Yeah, I was just really disappointed on the set piece. Uh, you know, it wasn't a great ball. Uh, next thing you know, it's uh, slipping through. Um, but, I mean, the amount of chances we had, it, it shouldn't really have mattered. I mean, we, we should have been far out ahead and uh, and really taking control of this game by just finishing a couple of the chances. And uh, we really let ourselves down. We let our fans down, and uh, we're sorry for that. Kyle, thanks for your time. Okay. Watch RSL take on Chivas USA May 19th at 8.30 on Utah CW30.